my kitchen. This is the second uh, video I want to do in a series on how to make your own salad dressings. And today I'm going to make one that almost everybody likes. It's probably the number one favorite salad dressing. And that is buttermilk ranch. And I want to show you how easy it is. And it gives you something to do with some of those herbs that you're growing in your garden. First off, I mix up my own ranch seasoning and I'm going to put a link to that at the bottom uh, so you can get my recipe on this. Uh, I have dill um, and I did a video on drying, dehydrating my chives, which those were ready in my garden now and I obviously do need to make some more of this. So uh, I decided to go ahead and do a video on uh, dehydrating the chives. So if you haven't seen that, look that up. This is a really easy dressing and it keeps an easy two weeks in your refrigerator. So um, let's get started. First we're going to need a cup of sour cream. Now this recipe I'm going to give you is going to make quite a bit and I'm putting it in a wide mouth mason jar because I'm going to shake it up. So we need a cup of sour cream. of mayo. I actually use the avocado oil mayonnaise because I don't want any canola oil in my stuff. That's actually one of the main reasons that I'm making my own dressing so I don't have any canola oil in it. We're going to use um, a cup of buttermilk. Now you don't have to go and buy buttermilk. You can take regular milk which I buy raw milk uh, from a local dairy and just put like a cap full of vinegar in it and uh, that will do the same thing as buttermilk. You can see my jar is getting pretty full here. All right, the last thing, well not the last, but the last of the base ingredients we want is about three teaspoons of lemon juice. That's gonna give it a really nice flavor. Okay, now we're going to want to add our ranch seasoning. We're going to add about four tablespoons of this and there's no reason to add salt and pepper because the salt and pepper is already in the ranch seasoning. So if you haven't tried this the ranch seasoning you can do all kinds of things with this. You can put it on popcorn. Um, I actually add a tablespoon of it when I make tuna salad. You can put it on chicken, potatoes, all kinds of stuff but it is amazing and if you've never made it you know when you buy it at the store it's got all the MSG and stuff in it and I don't want that in my diet in fact MSG gives me headaches so I decided to start making my own and I like it so much better and you can if you're like a really dilly person like I am you can always add a little more dill um, or whatever it is that you like in it so all of our ingredients are in this jar and I've put a lid on it and we're just gonna shake it up and I'll let it sit in the fridge for a while before um, I use it. I'm actually going to, this will get thick, a little bit thicker than it is now, but it won't be real thick. Um, if you want to make a dip, you can actually cut out some of the milk and it'll make a thicker dip for vegetables or crackers or something if you just want a ranch dip. All right, that's it. And you have a wonderful thing. My son here is terrible coming in right now, but you'll have a great uh, container of ranch dressing. So put this in the fridge. Anyway, I hope you try this. Um, it's super simple to make, so much healthier than the button. If you find this helpful, please like, subscribe, and share this with your friends because um, it helps me a lot. Thanks so much.